Hi, everyone. Th there are no shenanigans here. And Shlubby. There's all shenanigans here. There's no, 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 no. Especially when I'm here. No, well, there, well. <laughs> she's got a point. She does have a point. <laughs> she's got a point. You cannot trust a Shlubby. Nope. You know who you can trust even less than a Shlubby? The Christmas sushi. True. You know who you can trust even less than that? A Jabe. Hmm. You've just named all the people that have us surrounded. It's true. We're we can we can fight our way out. Okay. All right. All right. We can fight our way out. Okay. <laughs> I have faith. All right. I'm with it. Between the two of us, we got this. This is the internet. There are only shenanigans. <clears throat> this is a shenanigan free zone. I don't know what you're talking about. There are no shenanigans anywhere here at the office. We, we don't we, make jokes. Monument like Hobbies is a 100 percent shenanigan free zone. I'm kind and of I would obligated. Never lie to you. To be Chat. a part of shenanigans. Shelby's shenanigans, it just, it makes sense, you know? Yeah. I would lie to you all the time, though. Because I, you know, I like lying. Don't listen, don't listen to the woman in the corner. <laughs> Definitely don't listen to her. I don't know what the heck she's talking about. <clears throat> What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> listen, family friendly show and all, but I'm calling flat out BS. <laughs> <laughs> If Jen were here, she'd show you the bull. We just got the BS toy. I'm we sorry, got a what? Whole, we got a whole bunch of toys. What? Yesterday, at the meeting, that are little farm animals, like not stuffed. They're like those little, like you know, rubberized toy things. Like stress balls. Yeah, that's a good look for you. That, so we got barnyard animals at the meet. It was a business meeting, and they gave us five barnyard animals: a cow, a horse, a squirrel, a bull, and an elephant. <laughs> what? And so, therefore, when you're having meetings and, and somebody's speaking BS, you show them the bull. And, and, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. Wow. Like if the meeting starts talking about things that aren't relevant, you show them the squirrel. Squirrel! So, okay. <laughs> Funny that we need to use toys to keep us focused. <laughs> yeah, right? I was hoping they were squishy enough to throw at people. <laughs> So the first thing I said when the guy was like doing, I was like, I was like, this is kind of three-year-old stuff. But why are you giving us toys? <laughs> and then, and then I was like, oh, but wait, I can throw those at people. It turns out they're kind of cheap enough that if you threw, they'd hurt. Mm. Like they're just not quite. I can make bean bags. I think, yes. <laughs> bean bags hurt too. That's no joke, man. I think we need be, to invest in plushy versions of these characters so that we can throw them at people. <laughs> oh, so B, there what's go. going on? <clears throat> Hoosiers, what's happening? Did Jason just list all those as barnyard animals? I mean, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What kind of no, barnyard like... are you hanging around with elephants? I mean, are you talking about it's the movie called game it's like? it's called a safari? It's elephants. still technically a barn yeah. yard. I'm stretching here, but be with me. You prefer rubber ducks, <clears throat> like a million of them? Don't worry, Jason. I'm here. I'm here with you. Jason's a corpo now with all his meetings and stuff. Dude, I have had meetings forever. It just so happens that they're landsliding me lately. There's a lot of them. There was one day when Jason and I had to sit through like five different meetings in one day. This is my barn. My yard is all of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Till the African savanna is a barnyard. I mean, technically the same, right? I don't know. Maybe fewer water troughs. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like Christmas sushi adjusted my focal distance on this camera. You know, that Christmas sushi is very not trustworthy. Yeah, you did, actually, because wow. don't you paint closer down there? Yeah. So turn the knob. You got to you gotta do this. Oh, oh, the knob. oh yeah. You got to do this. Put it down where oh. it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hear him. Well, it's an earthquake, everybody. It's an earthquake. I hear someone. Tell me when it gets... Oh, no, that's light. Sorry. Uh, this one. It may not seem like it, but oh, it got he's worse. fixing it. <laughs> oh, better. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, right that there. looks great. That's good? Yeah. Yeah, and then we can get Mad a Viking, closer. thank you for the follow. Of course, oh, now I, I, also, I also messed, unfortunately, with the... Don't oh, no, you light. have yellow sprayed down there, so it's actually not that bad. Oh, yeah, I can flip this over. No, it's fine. That's fine. I'm just looking for getting those two kind of set. So we'll hey, somebody that. likes it. Because I, I messed with the, uh, the this part. Is that getting lighter? Yeah. Yeah. Like close. 
It's hard to tell with this thing being so off. This monitor's always been terrible on color, you tell me. That's good enough. Burr it! I'll allow it. <laughs> That's good enough. That's good. What are you painting, the Emperor? Uh, this is Constantine Valdo. How did you get that? I stole it from a friend. <gasps> I saw the model bad. and I was like, I'm painting this. I had never seen the model in person before. He showed it to me. I was like, I'm I have been this. wanting one of those. You can't even find those anywhere. And you just randomly <laughs> show up with one. On Wait, screen. really? Yeah. You can't buy them. I'll find one for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've been wanting to paint a Valdor for like three years. Really? I didn't know this. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yep. Well, don't you feel no. like a jerk Instead, now. I get to paint Phil's <laughs> ghoul guy. Dang. Dang. Well. <clears throat> he looks good. I mean, he's coming along. Yeah. We got some teeth on him, which makes him feel like the face is less of a disaster. I had no idea you wanted to paint this model for so long. What's that? I had no idea you wanted to paint this model. I was model like, wait a long. minute, what are you painting? And I'm like, if he tells me that's Valdor, I'm killing everybody. <laughs> oh gosh. It's like you can't even Valdor. get them. The only the only it, it's funny because then one day, like a year or so ago, some black market, you know, uh um like recaster yeah. sent an email. And uh, and they were like, yeah, we're making these models now. And it was Valdor. And I was like, not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. I have, I have my morals. Valdor is Jason's hero. He is. Of all of the Imperial characters, Valdor is my man. He's cool. It's a good one to choose. I know nothing about the other ones. Your but... Gould friend? Is this my He's Gould cool. friend? Are we going on a date? Val Valdor is a neat character. We're going on a date, me and my Gould friend. Your Gould friend? My Gould friend. <laughs> I don't know why there's a D in there. I feel it's like, yeah, just ghoul ghoul I feel like Valdor would hang out with that guy. Oh, Bagamara meant to say just ghoul, ghoul friend. It's your Ghoul friend. You damn fingers. I was like, what is the Ghoul? Like Elliot Gould? <laughs> Elliot Gould friend? I don't know, to be honest. It's a, it's a weird one for Nothing's me. what's happening. Welcome, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. It is, uh, I almost said Tuesday. I almost I said Tuesday, Thursday. But it's Wednesday. It's now. literally right between those two it's days. It's Wednesday. So my weeks run like this. Monday, mm -hmm. generally in the office. So Mondays feel like Mondays, and that's okay sometimes. Tuesdays, lots of meetings. Wednesdays, yes. lots of meetings. Thursday, I'm usually back in the office, and Thursday always feels like Tuesday. Because <laughs> I'm back to doing the things that I picked up with after Monday. <laughs> So in my brain, I'm like, it's Tuesday, yeah. but it's Thursday. And then the weekend comes, and I'm like, how come I didn't get anything done? <laughs> you You got a whole lot of meetings done. I got a whole lot of meetings done. Yeah. They're That's all good meetings. Too, so. Arguably very important. Go see what's happening. Dang, a whip Wednesday? We don't do that. We don't do that anymore. Everybody else does that. It's a terrible hump day, but a good hobby day. Terrible hump day. Finish your submission before and after photos look like I put my glasses on, which must be a good sign. I mean, oh. that sounds okay. Nice. I'm assuming you're talking about your, your submission for the, I must said August. Go April for challenge. it, painting. Hello, welcome from the lands of YouTube. What Hello, is happening? Hello, go for it. Batsnet, hello. What is happening? Mo. First time catching the stream. Well, welcome. It's a Mo. Just ordered Vince V set. Oh, fantastic. X Expansion 1 is one of my favorite sets. It has some of the most used colors for me. Burnt orange, yellow ochre, dark purple, yeah. dark blue. I literally use grays. the first two colors are like some of my most used colors ever. Like expansion one Seriously. and the base set. The difference Sweet. between Bakamaro's old and new versions are exciting. That's awesome. Ooh, I'm excited to see him. I'm not looking at him yet, though. I don't look at any of that stuff. Neither do I. I, I look at all of I them. I don't look at it until <laughs> it's time. Until it's time. You missed. Friends. You missed out on a, a on a pretty incredible. Uh, Last month was crazy. Yeah, it was nuts. I bet if I looked at the amount of hours I painted this year, it's so low that it would make me cringe. That's actually probably true. Unfortunately. Yeah. 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 It's a bit of a bummer. I was thinking about that last night. I was like, I have not painted near enough this year. You know. Game we, Delay we said, I don't even look more. at my own submission while I'm painting it. <laughs> you don't look at your own submission? Maybe you should. That seems like an important thing to be um, <laughs> monitoring over the course of the painting experience. You know. Oh, thank you. I didn't do it. Whatever that's from, thank you. I didn't do it. This first. <laughs> it's like, I didn't do it. I don't even know what that is. so weird. What is that sound? 
I think it's when the, um, we get a subscriber from YouTube, but it doesn't show us who. Yeah, it doesn't. Doesn't. It just tells well, us. Well, thank that it you over on YouTube. Yeah. Is Whatever that is that what are. that is? Is a YouTube sub alert? I think so. Huh. Yeah. I've never heard that in my life. I'm not positive, but that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But thank you, whoever subbed. We, so we love it. The whole, new, the whole streaming to you. We've been streaming on Twitch for over eight years painting and enjoying the community and youtube is new for us because we're lazy and we want to make sure that our live videos go straight to the live tab on youtube but we've really been enjoying it some great people joining us for the first time from youtube yeah, i always love people, it which yeah. is great always love it new blood does it work dax are these Warcry models so this is this is an age of sigmar model this is usharan who mm -hmm. is like one of the um i forget what they're called uh uh, the Lord of the Dead's matriarchs or patriarchs or whatever shoot. they're called. Um, the uh, he's the Ghoul King. Yep. Big base, big model, and that's Valdor, Constantine Valdor. Yep. He's from uh, the world of 40k, 30k. He was uh, basically he's like the Emperor's son. The Emperor sought him out in reclaiming Terra after the Dark Ages. Um, and reclaimed him as when he was a baby and raised him. He's a cool character. Stole him from his parents and raised him and genetically enhanced him. And he is one of the best combatants in the universe. So, yeah, from Flesh Eater Quartz. Uh, Law Dog, have y'all thought about including mailers about the live streams in the packages? We've done that before. Yep. We have, we have, we have. We could do it again, though. Yeah, we have. We just ran out of them, and we, we are doing some revamping on the website right now. So you'll see in the next couple of weeks, the website is getting a total uh, facelift, um, which is the first time in years that we've done that. I mean, I think since 2020, this will be the first time that we've Ooh. done anything big to the website. So the website, Gabe's working on that. I'm working on that. Uh, and so there's going to be a whole overhaul on the website graphics, and then we will have new landing pages for a lot of the product stuff with more educational stuff on it. Um, and in doing that, we wanted to wait until we got all the, the cards redone with new graphics so that it matched. And yeah, so you'll see those again. Pretty cool. Go for it, Penny. Thank you. That's what we do here. We make paint and we use paint. Wow, Unlike those you. other guys. That just eat it? That just eat <laughs> Wait a minute. Um... No. No. Yeah, you're not supposed Unlike to do that. Unlike those folks. companies that just make paint and then take vacations in the Bahamas, we make paint and we paint. Yep. With our paint. That's what we do. Welcome, everybody. Um, I don't know, like it's fur. Okay, so these fur things. These fur things? On him uh -huh. are, are uh, skins of uh, terror geists. Terror geists are furry? Well, the one. Yeah. Well. I mean, the ones that we have models for don't have much skin on them anymore. Yeah. But these are Terrorgeist pelts, or some form of pelt of something like a Terrorgeist, because that, look, that's the head. Like, oh, that really is see, the head. But there's no, I too. see it. There's two pelts, and that's the same little bat-dog-looking thing that a Terrorgeist is. They might be like, they're not Vargolfs, but they're something like Terrorgeists. Are you going to make them like slightly different colored pelts? Well, I, yeah, I mean, the two pelts need to be different colors. But, like, what would a Terrorgeist pelt be? Like, kind of brownish purple? I imagine that it would be, like, yeah, brownish purple or, like, a kind of, like, a gray. Um, Probably pink. Or, like, a or like a reddish beige. Pink? I could see pink color. pelts is probably not the way I'm going to go, though, so. Sorry, schlebby. I think some, some colorful gray variation could work well. Like a blue Sorry, gray or schlebby. kind of a, a paley green gray or some the kind it's all layered on here is really odd like i can't really tell what the hell is going on here standard gw protocol uh this guy's doing the same thing he's got a weird old like fur thing over half of his body that's just kind of like spikes of fur shooting out from anywhere and everywhere yeah there's an argument to be made that there's like four pelts on here so how do i and then of course this stuff is like his own hair this stuff here, the mohawk on his back. His back. Oh, hawk. is that actually his hair? His back hawk. If you look at like the, uh, I forget what they're called. The some of the ghouls have got that fin. Oh, they do. Yeah, you're right. I've seen that. Yeah, so that's his. I just don't think about it very often because it's weird. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> who wants to weird. think about that? That's the thing of your nightmares. 
It's like, wait a minute, I don't really want to know that exists. So we're going to start with Dark Sea Ben, because it's the color that's right in front of me. Ooh. And that's how I paint. For those of you who have not been here before, I don't have a plan. <laughs> <coughs> Jordan's the guy with the plan. Okay. I, not really a plan guy. You're looking at me for plans? Yeah. You, you know generally, what you're doing before you start? You, pre a, you prepare sure, a lot sure. more than Jason does. For paint, I don't. Yeah. Well. If, if, yeah. Yeah, I would say so. You're more of a planner than I am. I am I more know. of a planner yeah. than you are. Yeah. I'm not a great planner. I think planner. everybody is more of a planner than I am. Though, yeah, so Jason just planner. literally like goes, ooh, that's a cool paint on my desk. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I literally have no clue. That's what fun doing. though. I'm like, okay, I want this guy to be this color and this color. Okay, great. I'm going to figure it out for yeah. me. I let the model speak to me. I, I let the model speak. Okay, we have a couple of questions. Q Lanu said, any chance for more methodologies with all of the stated updates to the website? Yes. yes. Awesome. As a matter of fact, we've got some long form PDF tutorials that will be coming too. Yep. The first of which we are kind of looking at and reviewing right now to figure out what that means for us as far as stylistically approach to it. We've got some really neat stuff coming. Mally Anderson of uh, one of the former owners of Journeyman Miniatures uh, painted up our Warrior Texture Trainer in a long form PDF tutorial format that I think is super freaking cool. He did an amazing drop dead gorgeous paint job on her. So we're looking at ways to uh, include that for free on the website and such. That would something like that might be linked from the model section on the website. We haven't really determined all that, but we got all sorts of new stuff coming. We never sleep here is basically the key. Yep. True. True. Yes, there's all sorts of stuff on the way. Okay, and then also B Paint said, can noosh be used to do a pin wash type effect? No. Um, noosh is meant to be a, a subtractive wash, if that makes sense, subtractive weathering. So it is meant to layer onto the model and then take away to create the weathered effect. Our glaze wash medium will do the pin washing. So with our glaze wash medium, that has a lot more surfactant to it. It will uh, increase the flow rate of the paint as well as extend the dry time. So glaze wash medium, a little bit of water, and then the color of your choice will create a pin wash pretty well. Um, obviously, you're you're never with a with a water based acrylic polyurethane base you're never going to get the same amount of kind of running along the, the cracks as an oil will give you and that's just by virtue of the fact that you know one is linseed oil or whatever oil they choose to use versus not oil oil is slippery water not so much <laughs> water not so much source asked would you need some water and or flow improver with the medium yeah yeah, water. Not flow improver. No, just water. We take care of what flow improver does inside our medium. So it, it is so much more than just a flow improver, but it takes care of that job. So you don't need to add it to it. It's redundant at that point. Just use a little bit more medium if you're not getting the flow you want. Super easy. Hey, Wad. Welcome. What's up, Wad? Happy, I almost said Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. We established this already. I'm sure the week. I'm sure the week also just feels weird because you guys, like, Jason, you were gone all day yesterday. Yeah, I was gone on Monday. Yeah. So yeah, my just... my perspective of the week is is a little odd. That's for yeah. That's for certain. That's for certain. For, for certain. Not sure what that means, but it it <laughs> surely is something. Something. <laughs> means means something. I shirt all the time. Whoa. <laughs> um. Um, Jason, I'm not sure you're supposed to admit that one. What? About your shirting. I'm a shirter. <laughs> I shirt. Uh, that old cat asked, what model are you painting, Jordan? This is Constantine Valdor. Uh, Jason's really in. jealous. Yeah, Jason. Very angry. Unbeknownst to me, has, has always wanted to paint this model. And, uh. I snagged one from a friend of mine to paint. I have to give His it back. exact words were stole. Yes. I don't have any friends. So, 
it's hard for me to like go find models that I don't already own. I just steal them from Jordan. So. <laughs> oh. You didn't find this one. You should have found it. This is a, it's a very interesting model. It, it, I thought it would be a good opportunity to show off how to do like nice true metallic gold. Because we haven't, I haven't done a lot of true metallic metal on here. He's got a lot of stuff going on with that armor. Yeah, yeah. You know? So it'll be really cool to be able to kind of bring the gold to life. That old cat, if you tell me you have a Constantine Valdor model just hanging <laughs> around, I'm going to absolutely walk through this office and strangle you. How did you not just know this? You said I can find that model. You can? <clears throat> GW hadn't had it for ages. Has if it's on, I don't even know that they still do that model. It's an old it's Forge on, World. It's on it their came website. out with the Primark stuff. It's definitely on their website. I think you can just order one. Uh, he said, I don't have one, but I can find one for, for you. Ages, but oh, really? I haven't looked for it in a long time. So. Oh, okay. I'm, huh? I'm dramatizing. I'm, I'm over-dramatizing the fact that when I was looking for it, they never had it. Would you be excited to paint one if you had access to one? Probably not. Now Is that it? you've done it, you stole my thunder. He said he has it in his cart right pink. now. Cart? In your cart? NMM custodian. Well, that was what I was going to do. I would do non-metallic gold. Qlanu says, uh, so if I find this model and ship it over, does that mean I get all new paints in perpetuity? <laughs> I mean, that's almost... That's almost a thing. <laughs> no, I know source, but Jason was just saying that he couldn't like he couldn't find it anywhere. Well, the one place that you would be able to get it was out of it when he was looking, I think was the problem. Yeah. yeah Which it sounds like has been remedied by the source. That's all it really was. So. Hmm. Oh, does somebody have it? Well, I think yeah, I think Games Workshop does. Oh. Uh... Somebody was saying something about having it in their cart. Yeah, oh, wow. Philip said it, but now he said, never mind, he doesn't want to do it now. He didn't want to do it now. I have it in my cart right now. Do they have it in stock, Phil? He said I, could, I legit yeah. could get it for you right now. Oh, Philip. Hold it up. Even for services, man. Let me, let me get really nice and jealous. Here, do you want to hold it? No. Here, no. You should hold it. No. You should hold it. No, 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 no. I don't want to reach yeah, over here and grab yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. model and bring it over here in front of my own peepholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. That model's pretty sick. If you hold it, you'll want to buy it. Exactly. Uh, I might buy one for me to paint again. Uh, what? And I would paint that one. On just prime time. over it like you normally do. No, 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 no. Remember, I stole this one from somebody else. Mm. I've technically borrowed. Philip? <laughs> Philip, do you have your company card out? <laughs> Philip, you have authorization for me to use your company card to bring in a company. He got card. it. He said done. Damn you! Oh, that's so funny. Because you don't buy cool things like Constantine Valdor. Wow. <laughs> Are you serious? Philip, I think he's completely serious. Yes. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Phil, do it. Make it happen. <laughs> yeah, use your company card. No, don't do it on your own. Use your company card. <laughs> don't spend your own money. Although I appreciate the offer. Game delay. But nobody buys me miniatures. The Except gubbins. me. Except think Monument Hobbies. The it's the only thing I get paid. I get paid in, in miniatures I never paint. <laughs> this is the best day. <laughs> Soul Waves, what's happening, man? That's so funny. Mickey. Uh, this is the best day. <laughs> this is the best day. He's crying over there right now. He's like weeping. <gasps> oh, my God. If he spins his own money. That was my fear. If I let him spin his own money, I'll be like this guy. Because this is, this is Phil's model. So I'm painting this for Phil right now. <laughs> He's like, uh, I want to keep it when you're done. So. Docs, thank you for the follow. This is actually being a really fun model. I like it. I, I, have, I have no interest in playing the, the faction, 
So I would have a hard time, like, buying I one. Somebody likes us. Well, that's why I did it, because I don't give a damn about Flesh Eater Quartz. But when I saw the model, yeah. I was like, I would really paint that. And Phil, yeah. I knew Phil painted Flesh Eater yep. Quartz, so I asked him, are you getting that? And he's like, I think I'm getting two. And I said, I will paint one. Yes. There you go. Hi, Jade. And that's exactly what I did to my friend when I saw it. I was like, <laughs> that model is sick. I really want to paint it. I would paint that. Give it to me. And he was like, uh, sure. I will paint that. Is half of my base missing? Huh? Does it have a, a big, like, base part that it comes with that's not part of just the standard base with the guy? I don't know that... Does Valdor have the wraparound thing? He, he probably does. Oh, uh, most of the Primarchs do, but I don't know if Valdor does. Oh, it does have a oh, wall yeah. behind him? Yeah. Nah. Let's paint the models. Most of, the, most of them have the base for playing and then the, the second base that locks around it for yeah. a diorama. Oh, that's all cool. of the All of the... Uh, the uh, Primark models do, and he's technically one of the Primark. Models. Yeah, I mean, he might as well be a Primark for all intents and purposes. He's better than the Primarchs. I believe you. Don't offend him. Don't offend Constantine that way. Is Constantine he, is no mere Primark. Is he of the same ilk as far as prowess is concerned? Uh, more so. Okay. In, cool. in a bunch of ways. What he lacks is the emotion that the Primarchs had. In in what way? He has none. Oh, he's just like a... He's like an automata. Oh, interesting. All of the custodies lack any type of emotion. That's how they were bred. They're literally just like, you know, fighting butlers for the emperor. Just like the perfect tool. Yeah, they are just literally the perfect tool. But they aren't, they aren't allowed to have emotional content, right? So... Solway, we're doing good. Just getting through the week. It feels like Tuesday for some of us, Thursday for others. Don't know how that works, but it's Wednesday. I just lose track of time. It's some day during the week. <laughs> it's a day. Don't know which one. Which is fine by me, to be honest, because the, the, whether or not it's a Wednesday or a Thursday or a Tuesday doesn't really Can matter to me. Yeah. So long as as we're, you know, at work on the right days. If it's Sunday right now, we have a problem. Yes. <laughs> I feel like I'm not supposed to be here on Sundays. Unless there's something that really needs to be happening on that Sunday. <laughs> yeah. Which, to be fair, is entirely possible. Could be. You never know. Dano paints. The release date is April 25th. For the new stuffs? Yeah. Yeah, yep. I'm excited about that new stuff. stuff. It's so good. April 25th. We are building up right now, allowing all of the uh, retail stores and partners, along with our distributors, to order. So that's why there's a delay from the, the sneaky pre-release at Adepticon to the actual street date. We like to... We've been working hard over the past year and more to make sure that all of our retail partners have an opportunity to have the product on shelves the day it goes live for the public because obviously people get really excited that day one and then we want you to be able to go to your local game store and pick it up so bingo that's what we're doing that's what we do mix on a little bit of burnt sienna in with the rich gold Philip completed the purchase of Two the Two to one rich gold. A, but he has an orc head in here. That's cool. Does he? <laughs> He's got an orc face in there. That's, cool. uh, that's the problem is that I thought this was going to be easy. Oh, it's fur. It's great. And then somebody was like, <laughs> look at all the faces. And I was like, I hate all of you. Are you are you painting the furs different colors too? Now I'm that... starting with the same base color mm -hmm. of brown gray. Modulate it as you go. Yeah, and then I will work uh, up different colors as I go. You know, I, I, I tend to think in the, in the world, if you are doing fur of similar creatures, you know, even if you were painting, say, dogs, and you had a dog with one color pelt versus another, um, starting with the same base color will uh, help you out a lot. So... You know, starting out with a brown and going brindle or black or whatever. You know, I, I think about my my dog and she's she looks like she's black and white, but when you really get to looking at it, it's brown. Cores for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's like a very dark brown. 
But, you know, if you find, like, a hair laying on the floor, it's, like, black. It looks like black, but it's not. It's brown. Mm. Docs asked, do you have armies, or do you just find models you like? Both? Um, I, I play a lot, so I, I have armies. I do not Wars have Wars any current armies outside of my Warcry Warband of the Gorger Maw Pack, Gorger Maw Pack, um, and all of my Battletech stuff, really, that are active, you know? I have a lot Those of other done, armies... Though. I have orcs for 40k, but I don't play 40k. That was part of a company-wide slow grow league that we did way back. And I played orcs in that. So I have the orc army. It's a lot of fun, but I don't pay attention to it. I do those kind of things every now and then. I have a, a um, Lumineth Realm Lords army for Age of Sigmar, an orcs army for Age of... I have a bunch of Age of Sigmar armies, but... The Lumineth one is the only one we really spent time painting, and that was because it was kind of an on-stream challenge for me to paint 2,000 points in seven days. You did a lot of work on that army in seven days, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah, we painted Looks that great. full army up to play level. Is that the one that's on top of your glass case, Jordan? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so good. So we painted that up in seven days. So, the, But, you know, I, I, I don't particularly focus on playable armies. I like to just paint cool miniatures. Banger, the Adepticon set will be a part of the release. Yep. Yep. Three sets come out April 25th. The Adepticon, the Flamon, and the Rogue Hobbies. They're technically all three signature sets. We just don't label the Adepticon a set a signature set. <laughs> Game Delay said two days ago, I was thinking, I want a brown for this part, but it needs to be more gray. I grabbed a bottle of paint that looked about right and learned that I owned Pro Krill Brown Gray. <laughs> it is such a, <laughs> Pro brown gray, it's such a good color. It, it is probably my favorite gray right now. It is I so go through good. phases, but it is so good. It I gives really you such it. a dirty base to build from, which I think is is the big key for me. Why I love it. Yeah, it's got that it's got a lot of earthiness to it, which I really like in a gray generally. Yeah. Um then it just feels like it. Well, even if you were to build neutral too. grays up off of this... Oh, yeah, it's great. It is great. Because it has that earthy foundation that I really like. Mm -hmm. uh, Mo asked about the new Texture Trainer release. <laughs> Which one? Two or three? Um, probably two. I think two and three will hit at the same time. We're going to release... The next release for Texture Trainers will be the ability to buy all three. That doesn't mean you can't buy them as singles. But um, we're going to wait until we have all three ready because we've got a lot of stuff going on that is really based around you know the the functionality of the texture trainer as a concept and we want people to have the choice so all three of them uh will release here probably beginning of may sounds like i need to get myself a, a texture trainer three and start painting it up uh we are actually i think having that one done outside oh, of yeah. the company for the box art Oh. We've got a guest artist who is <laughs> looking at it right now. Wow. I just uh, sent him all of the final renders and stuff this morning, so I'm waiting to hear back. I talked with him at Adepticon, and he's very excited to do some cool stuff with us. So we've talked for years, and I was like, oh, maybe we'll have you do this if you like the idea. So, That's super fun. If he likes the concept. It's not a guarantee. He may be like, no, it's not really, up my, not really my style. But I don't think that'll be the case. <laughs> uh, Philip and Hera do made the same joke. He said, "Weird, I didn't see any emails about this, Jason." <laughs> and then what, what's that? Philip said, "Yeah, I got your email this morning, Jason. I can't wait to do it." <laughs> Making jokes that they're the secret artist. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, Phil. That was the whole point of keeping it secret. But thanks for ruining that for me. <laughs> Came to I said, "Check the Mead Man is painting it." <laughs> Also correct. Basically, what I've done is I've sent a, the same email to 50 people. <laughs> and then telling them the how special point. they are. And then I'm just going to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> have we started printing it yet? Uh, no, but we mm -hmm. have. Uh, it's, it's in for being supported right now. Mm. The third one you're talking about? Fake email. The second one we do. We have, we have production stock of the second one. We sold some at Adepticon. 
Um, and we have some in, in stock here. Uh, we're waiting on labels, I think. Gabe ordered lab labels this yeah. last week or this week. Box art's done, so the labels are... Yeah, box art's done, photos are taken, labels are ordered. So uh, the second one will uh, be ready to go here soon, but I don't think we're going to release it. We may, we may put it up on the site with no fanfare so that you, know, you guys could do it, but I'm really wanting to wait for the third one to be available so that if somebody wanted to buy all three, they don't have to do multiple orders and pay all that shipping. You know, Because the third one's going to be ready so close in to the second one being done that it just makes sense to not... I hate when I do that, right? When we release a product and then a week later we have another new product. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of... I know it's going. Jen hates it too, so I think we'll probably try to, to do them all. But we won't do them at the same time that the new colors are coming out because that's confusing. So you're always playing that balance of are you telling people too many things at once and they miss all of it? Yeah. Faint Liquor said, I've blocked Fuse's emails as spam. Guy just won't leave me alone. I know. <laughs> I try, man. I try. I'm just trying to be friends. Don't understand why you keep ghosting me. Source, Jason's we signature set is the whole line. What's that? Uh, Source asked, so Jason, which is your signature set? And I said, the it's the entire line. line. I think Proacryl is my signature set. <laughs> That's the whole point. I made a paint line that fits the way I like to paint and the way I like paints to work. And now you can buy it. And there's just enough people out there that can appreciate and are my kind of crazy that they love our paints, it turns true. out. Can we set up a monthly Monbox subs, uh, subscription service? A monthly subscription service? Yeah. For like all the new products? Sounds We've like We've had it. so many people ask us about that over the years and I'm like, would that work? <laughs> <laughs> We don't do it regularly enough, right? So we don't mm -hmm. have a released schedule, which I think would be really confusing to people. It's like you just get charged randomly. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, yep, you're getting charged on, on uh, in August. Some people really like that. It's just like you get a monument box, and you're like, what the hell is this? And then all of a sudden you open it up, it's like, never even heard of this. Like, that can be really fun if we, if we did, like, some sort of early release schedule thing to where all of our early release subscribers just got the product before we even told anybody about it. Like, That'd as soon so as it comes funny. off the presses, we send it out to them. Yeah. And unannounced wild. with nothing. <laughs> just like, why is this thing showing up? What the heck? That might be fun. That could be really cool. I even I even think it'd be fun to do, like, mystery sets or mystery single. Like well, some... that's just well, that's wizard, wizard, but... Well, but, like, so it's, like, a mystery color, but it's more, like, you like whoever's filling the order will just choose a random color to send. Or like a random combination of colors. No, because you know you probably already have those. If you're if you're diving in and doing those types of things on our site, chances are you're a fan of the paints already and yeah. have most of them. So I don't like doing things where you just get redundant nonsense. I, I don't feel like that adds any value. Mm. I get the fun of it, and a lot of people you know kind of give us crap because we don't do fun stuff like that. But I'm like, yeah, but you know what? If I put together some random set and it's all colors you already own, did it really? Is it that fun? For me, that wouldn't be fun. Maybe I'm just misunderstanding the yeah. world. But. Paint Liquor said Wizard's Butt of the Month. Well, yeah, we, we hope to uh, be able to start doing, you know, random Wizard's Butt colors more frequently. Uh, but that takes us getting through the rest of the line. So we're going to get the main Pro Curl line finished out by end of the year, beginning of next year. Um, then we've got some other really cool plans coming. We've got another whole type of paint coming out this year. Yup. If we can make that happen. I'm very excited That's about one that. of my big goals right now. Not ready to tell you too much more than that, but maybe, maybe Friday I can, or maybe Thursday I can. I got a big meeting on Thursday to go over a lot of those details, so we'll see. Got all sorts of cool stuff planned. We don't I'll sleep. Alpharius Omega has a really interesting question. What's that? What's that? It said, how would you do a book accurate Saruman of many colors in the book? It's described like this. I looked then and saw that his robes, which had seemed white, were not so, but were woven as, of all colors, and if he moved, they shimmered and changed hue so that the eye was bewildered. How would you paint that? Hmm. Well, so what we're really talking about is like a... a um, 
a, a really cool um, iridescence. Yes. You know, being able to, to write that is much easier than being able to achieve that. But you could get enough color in an iridescent style to make it feel that way, right? And then what you would want to do is pick a color that was your base. Like, what did it look like when you looked at him? He was, maybe he was, it says he was no longer white. Yeah, so base, white would be a good Because he base. was Saruman the white. Yeah. So he, white, white would be your base. And then you would build up like an iridescent or pearlescence underneath the white. And the way you do that is you just kind of layer rando colors as your base layer, right? So you could paint the model in magentas and turquoises and yellows and greens and, and reds as a modeled base. Lay those colors over one another to where it almost looked like a psychotic grandma's quilt. <laughs> and then lay a base layer of glaze through, airbrush would be your friend here, right? And then go through with a, a glaze layer from the airbrush of, of like, a, um, um, like a neutral gray over the top of all those to give it the initial blend down and then start working into bright neutral gray and whites, right? So that it gives you the feel when you're looking at it of a dirty, you know, grayish white. But then when you really start turning it in the pockets and stuff where the glaze didn't cover and give you the opacity, you start seeing all of that, that uh, myriad of colors that would be like a kaleidoscope of colors. And they just run together in inconsistent patterns is the way that read to me in the book, right? That's really cool, actually. That would be my way of doing it. I need to read those books. Basically paint it like Jason's palette, said Source. <laughs> yeah, you just, like I said, you want to make a psychotic grandma's quilt. When you paint it on the model that way, it's going to look like, what have I done? And then when you glaze it all together, you get something better. Um, I'll show you an example that, that we use quite often here is my death guard, if I have any of them here. I feel like I keep a death guard model around. It you generally awesome. do. Um, I feel like it's on the upper right hand side. Maybe I'm crazy. Could be crazy. Oh, yeah, there's some right here. Dang, look at that. <laughs> Jeez. Cha -cha. I'm taking a victory lap for that one. Woo! <laughs> That's pretty good. <clears throat> Let's see the one I wanted. <clears throat> Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Is it the one with the belly? Yeah. I might have it over here. Randomly. It may be on that shelf, yeah. Because I did it for a short... It was kind of the test model for the whole thing. So it tends to... This one is pretty good, too, though. So... This was meant to be a bruised white, right? And so when I was doing the Death Guard, I liked the idea of the 30K Death Guard white armor, but you want to make it have that corrosion of Death Guard. And so on this, I painted underneath it with turquoises and purples, and then we glazed yellows over the top. But you can get a feel of a lot of color in the white, right? Because it goes from like greens, it has browns, it's got purples and blues, turquoises. I never use white. Olive flesh is as bright as we get on this, right? But that's kind of the idea. Right, this guy doesn't have the effects done to him yet, but you can see the purple base, that you can see the jade and the turquoise or create the greens, and then the white on top. So while not trying to achieve the same thing you're talking about with Saruman, this would do if you added more colors in, the magentas, the, the bright yellows, right? That kind of, I think about like, you know, dark side of the moon, the refracted white light turning into a, a spectrum of color. Just take all those kind of primary bright colors and, and grandma's quilted on the model. And then what you see is how I filtered the color over the top, right? and it brings them all together. Like these models looked absolutely horrible before I started because they were just like dark purple, jade, turquoise, you know, it, it was nuts. But the, the filter over the top brings all those colors together and makes it feel like it's just an undulating kind of shadow and mid-tone that happens in the white. Spitfire asked, do you have plans for a decal solution by any chance? A decal solution? 
Yeah, I don't know what that means. Like a decal fixative. No. Nope. We don't. I feel like the the saw and set solutions that are out there right now are all pretty good. Yeah. I don't like decals, so. G generally speaking, uh, as a company, we don't like to make things that we feel like are already being done really, really well. Source said, I now wonder what Jason's grandma looked like. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the quilt she made. She looked fine. Her quilt's a little disturbing. <laughs> my grandma was really cool on my stepdad's side. I mean, my grandma on my mom's side was great. But my grandma on my, step on my stepdad's side, would uh, she um, embroidered a Spider-Man quilt for me. Oh, wow. Oh, that's she cool. made quilts for everybody one year, all the kids in the family, and a lot of them got, they were all younger than I was. I was much older. And she knew I loved comic books. And so she went out of her way and actually did this Spider-Man blanket for me from scratch. And the Spider-Man that she embroidered on it was fantastic. It was a Romita Senior Spider-Man that she had gotten from my dad to copy. And I got to tell you, man, she nailed it. That Spider-Man was awesome. As a kid, I was like the coolest kid ever. People are like, where'd you get that blanket? Well, my grandma made it. Well, my grandma made it for me. That's the kind of grandma I want to be. The coolest be. grandma ever. That's my goal. What's that? That's the kind of grandma I want to be. Be like, you know, whatever the cool thing is your grandkids like, being able to knock yeah, it like out of the Yeah, like being able to make them stuff like that. Yeah, I think it's great. I'm in training right now. <laughs> Shelby... <laughs> you're, you're getting the uh, training pretty early. <laughs> <laughs> now that's planning ahead. Exactly. Shelby's got it all figured out. What she's really doing is she's making all the blankets with her favorite stuff on them now, and then she's just going to groom her grandchildren into liking whatever it is her favorite stuff is. That's what she's no. doing. Yeah, I know you. No. I see you, Shelby. You can't fool us. I'm starting, though, with my nieces and nephews. I have one niece already, and I have so many plans. So many plans. Here's some candy. Look at this blanket. <laughs> Here's some candy. Look at this blanket. I'm start Pavloving them. <laughs> I am awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> I am the coolest ant around. You do not have ants that are as cool as me. Other than me. Hi, Fooker. Welcome. You guys are both a little bit out of frame. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jason know. doesn't care. <laughs> Jason's like... <laughs> So what? I'm not doing I'm anything. here. I'm not doing anything interesting. You don't know that. Someone might think it's interesting. Well, tough. Out of 80 people, someone will think it's interesting. I figure this is probably a good time for me to talk about some of the things that I'm doing here on this gold. So I'm kind of going back and forth with two sets of colors here. Uh, rich gold, which is our, our mid-tone. And then the uh, rich gold and burnt sienna mix, which is our kind of... Oh, you're doing um, burnt sienna instead of the brown wash? Or the, the uh, transparent brown? Uh, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to push it further with transparent brown. Yeah, I like so the burnt sienna mix. This this way, the, the burnt sienna is... It's it's a little bit dulled down because you're mixing it... It's an opaque paint mixed with metallic, so it's inherently going to dull some of that shine. But it still has some of that brilliance in it. And then afterwards, I'm going to take the transparents and I'm going to mix glazes of transparents and I'm going to deepen all the shadows. So we get a really nice strong contrast for the metallic reflection. And then I'm going to punch the metallic reflection up with some of our brighter metallics. <clears throat> Dang. Ghost does, Hunter, that's exactly what I heard. Is plan. it Jordan is my favorite ant as well? Oh, favorite. he's over there saying that he's he's the the best aunt. His favorite like, wine aunt. Uncle. I am an uncle. I was talking, <laughs> but whatever. In hey man, you do you. <laughs> <sighs> you do you, boo. I get this after I got Christopher yesterday. This is unacceptable. Gamma Delay says this is your that's life. it. I'm I don't convinced. Know Jordan is awesome and the coolest aunt around. Although I'm having some cognitive dissonance about the last part. <laughs> You're still the coolest, Jordan. Thank you. Cool aunt, uncle is hard work. 
I, you know, growing up, I was always like, I was always like, I don't want my own kids. I just want to be a cool uncle. You know, my whole goal is to be cool uncle. You feel like you've made Unfortunately, it? Unfortunately, other than my nephew, my nephew lives close now, but only now for like two years, right? Um, but my, my nieces and nephews are all in Colorado. My family refuses to leave the mountains. <laughs> and the banjos. <laughs> I did both dad and cool uncle. Well, that's not fair. Yeah, I get to be the. I, I always worried right about if your dad and cool uncle, do your kids get mad at you? Because why are you always better with my cousins? Mm. Right. How do those banjos call you back? They touch your soul. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I couldn't do it. I, couldn't, I wasn't built to be a parent, although I think I would be a very good parent. But I'm too selfish and too much of a child. I think that's part of the reason why you would be such a good parent. Mm. Well, well, not the selfish part, but the child part. <laughs> yeah, that ship has sailed. <laughs> well, I'm you 50, sort of have like fifty-four twenty-something kids. I'm fifty-four next month, and I, I do. I have twenty children, some of which are my age. Technically, Schlebby's mom is one of my children, so <laughs> that's what I. Decided. They're the same age, so how does that? Don't work? feel bad. You have you have two nieces that you haven't even met. What? Oh, Jade, so you got to fix that. You at least gotta meet them. I have I have a niece that I have not. Well, you gotta not be a niece. you gotta be that aunt that they're like, man, she was really cool. When you see her more often, you know, that's the kind of impression you have to make. Somebody already told the joke in stream about when a dad joke becomes a dad joke. What? Wait, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, the one nephew that I dropped in the dunk tank. Yes, there you go. I think he's the coolest nephew because he decided to let it happen. He was anxious about it. He was like, I'll do it. If you've, if you've ever seen the, the, the kind of Dollar Shave Club commercial that we did walking around the office, it's so the good. point where, I, where uh, <laughs> so my good. nephew goes on and says, what the heck kind of color is Wizard's butt anyway? And I go, exactly, kid. And then I dunk him. We did that in one take. He was perfect. He only had to get dunked once, but he sat swimming in that damn thing for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I mean, we rented a dunk tank. It was the worst, most painful part of that commercial was the dunk tank. Because the, the company that rented us the dunk tank had to drive it down a long way. There's not many places you can rent dunk tanks from, it turns out. Interesting. They're expensive. Mm -hmm. That doesn't surprise me. And they take forever to set up because you got to fill them with like 180 million gallons of water. Yep. And so you got a lot of time you got to bake into a day of filming. So the person that was bringing it had every excuse in the book. We had to reschedule our shot day because they couldn't get here the day they scheduled that we paid for. Then they couldn't get here the next day. So we finally get them here. They get here super late. The person had nothing but stories about why excuse after excuse about this and that and oh my gosh, my life's falling apart. And I'm like, is this who sells dunk tanks? Because now I know why nobody does this. Yeah, super late. Oh my God. Jade, <laughs> Jason's that's like, super cute. Man, I remember this. And I'm really and I sorry hate you this haven't day. been able to meet them in person. <clears throat> I've decided that I want to let my nieces and nephews paint or uh, color my tattoos oh, like Jesus. color them in with washable markers i think that'd be super fun your tattoos mm -hmm. that'd be kind of funny if they're being antsy just hand them some crayola you've always got a coloring book handy exactly. i had a friend i you know i i i thought one of the the early thing one of my the best man at my first wedding uh and had been a long time really good friend of mine um, he had his first child and I was super excited about it, right? I was like super excited about it, like godparent style excited about it. I was yep. super excited. And they then shot, I was living in California at the time. They had their child, or, or they were about to have their child. I had been down and visited while she was pregnant. I was super excited. They knew I was super excited. I wanted to come out. I kept asking them and all that stuff. And then they sent me this email with a list of like over 20 vaccines I had to go get like shots I had to go get. They weren't things, you had to provide them proof that you had had like, you know, your your polio vaccination and all this stuff when you were a kid. And I was like, okay, I get it. But then there was like 20 shots I had to go to the doctor to get. And then they just were like, you cannot come here. Do not waste a ticket and come here if you do not send us proof beforehand that you went and got these 20 shots. <laughs> and I'm like looking at this list thinking, dude, I don't even go to the doctor. 
and I'm going to walk in the door one day for like a like a general visitation and say, okay, I need whatever's on this piece of paper. Can yeah. you please load me up? That's crazy. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't load even think me you up, can, Doc. You probably aren't even supposed to get most of those shots within a, 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 <laughs> yeah. re- a reasonable time <laughs> frame of like, one another. Yeah. Like, yeah, so that's going to take three years. <laughs> I was like, what the heck are you talking about? I haven't spoken to him since. That's, that's how that went. I was like, are you kidding bummer. me? They ghosted me. My wife always has coloring books handy, but they're not appropriate for kids full of detailed <laughs> curse words. Uh, Havoc is... 61 nieces and nephews, holy hell. That is a substantial number of family my, members. One of my best friend's dad is one of 19 kids, and so her family is huge. That's got to be ridiculous. Yeah. 19 children? Mm-hmm. What yeah, Baka. I mean, to be fair, I can't imagine that list was anything other than what is required for public school. No, no, it was it was uh, it, it was first time parent paranoia, which I understood. I totally understood it. I was I was I was not mad about. it. I was just like, hey, I can't do this. <laughs> you know, like I, there's not enough time to do this, and and I'm not a person that goes to the doctor all the time to get shots. I get rust. I step on rusty nails. I don't go get a shot. I'm just a kid that eats dirt. I've grown up. I'm just, just a kid that eats I've just dirt. grown up immune to things. I, I, guess. I, I mean, ate I dirt when I was little. That, but I, I don't think about it, right? I don't listen and say, oh my gosh, you know, you need to go get a shot because there's this thing flying around, <laughs> you know? And, uh, and, uh, and so it was just like, I mean, the fracking measles in 2024, Baca. Yeah, well, they were in Texas too, but this was years and years ago. Yeah, that's a bummer. Chai Avengers measles are popping up all around. There's a lot of people that never got any kind of uh, treatment for it early on in their lives, right? Not every country does that. And when you have a melting pot country, you, you have the ability to introduce people that don't have the same uh, immunities and, and things that, you know, we've, we've grown up with all the time. Yep, it's true. And nature has a way of evolving strains of neat things like COVID and things like that that just ruin the day for you. Yep. So who the heck knows? All right. So I'm one. I'm, I think Thanks, I'm gonna dry nature. brush this a little bit to get some highlight in here, and then do some glazes, some real heavy, like more like wash style color glazes over it, and then bring it back up. I think that's what I'm gonna do to get the colors. On the, on the thing? Yeah. On the pelts, yeah. So I'm thinking I need something that's a pretty good jump, and I might not nah, use some bone. What are we using right now? I'm going to use dark ivory, because why not? Dark ivory is great for that. It's a nice, like, relatively neutral, brighter tone to work with. It's great. Fooker, any tips on painting yellow? I could use them. You're a fool and primed your model black. We prime every model black, and we paint stuff in bright yellows. You know? Nope. I mean, the... You know, depending on the yellow that you want, I start a lot of mine with oranges, mm-hmm. right? Um, especially in like the 40K grimy world kind of stuff because then, you know, you get a really good shadow out of it. So starting with something like burnt sienna, burnt orange, even browns. Um, and then once you've worked up into burnt orange, starting to switch over to yellow ochre, right? So yellow ochre is your best friend. Right, because it is a yellow, but it still leans into the brown. So no matter what you've started with, if you started with something like a, a burnt orange in there, yellow ochre goes over it, fantastic. But you could also do something like a brown. You could do a dark umber, and yellow ochre works great over that. And then you start migrating into your yellows, and it really just depends on the kind of yellow you want. You know, you can go into like warm yellows, golden yellow, brighter stuff we're just coming out and louise is set with a bismuth yellow which is a really like a more cool yellow um so you can choose from yellow ochre any yellow you want right and then you can even go into like paler yellow ochre and then pale yellows right so you've got khakis so many yellows. pale yellow it's fantastic. right stuff like that so you can you can go anywhere but this is your core for painting yellow is a dark shade that you like that i like to have oranges and browns for yellows traditionally greens work well too depending on what you're painting um but uh like a dark umber or burnt orange something like that right something in this trio is great to start and then you just pick your yellow to start blending over the yellow ochre you're done and i only uh use black as a base philip jordan was doing two and five to 
try to answer someone's question to the release date of the I was miming a question while Jason yeah. was answering a question. Yeah. So, that's what that was. Game Delay said, I'm so glad I bought Yellow Orker. It's nice to have a best friend. That yellow Ochre is so friend. good. <laughs> it really is, though. Source asked, any plans on more oranges? Um, we just did one, right? So, I mean, we have we have burnt sienna, burnt orange, orange. Um, now red, we've got red, the orange, orange red, mm -hmm. right? Orange is a color that doesn't have a lot of nuance to it, right? Because it's a in between. It's an orange. It's a yellow and a and a red. So when you start thinking in those terms, you're either going to drift more yellow, which is what warm yellow starts becoming, and then you're going to drift more red, which is where the burnt oranges and the red and the orange red start coming in. So I don't think I have a plan for any more oranges. Uh, well, okay, I say that. We are, we are working with the Nova Open to create a specific color for Nova Open because their logo is orange. So that orange will be in between orange and orange red will be a mediocre in between there that pushes it a little bit more red. So we'll have that one. Do have a lot of oranges. Orange and that oxide. should be somewhere around this year. Yeah, and the orange browns are oranges. Yeah, I mean, the new orange, orange oxide is an mm -hmm. orange. We have tons. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you don't have the, the oranges from the new <laughs> sets available yet, but orange <laughs> brown is technically an orange, and it's fantastic. The dark orange brown is fantastic. So I think we have a tremendous uh, coverage in that world, right? Technically, advanced flesh tone is kind of an orange, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fixing Workshop said mediocre. Mediocre? <laughs> the Monument Hobbies doesn't make mediocre paints. <laughs> we don't. That is correct. All right, did I put any of this out? I never can tell. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get you your palette changed. You think? <laughs> I've only been saying that for, it's probably been a year now. Jason, no, it's probably been like six months. Jason, we should do that this weekend. Well, maybe that's a thing. Cool. Maybe we should have a paint party this weekend. That sounds oh, like a blast. Paint can party. You, can you hand me some paper towels? Like, can you tear me off two paper towels? Oh, well, yeah, just give me that one. Because you don't need both rolls over there. I'll tear you with this Stingy off. Stingy bastard. And then I will hand it to you. Okay, see, now that's better. See, less work for you. I take care of all the heavy lifting <laughs> right here. <laughs> Philip said, I'm so down for a paint party. So it sounds like... So, Phil, you know what's going party. on this weekend? And, Jordan, you're going to be mad at me, right? So we've been invited to go up to Vegas to Virko's Vault this weekend because Carol Rudick is there along with another famous painter. And they've been like, come paint with us on Saturday uh, and we'll have food and there'll be like all the locals and you can just come paint and show off stuff. And oh I'm my like, gosh. I am so sick of traveling. I'm not doing it. What? <laughs> See, look at this look, chat. This is the look. I shouldn't have said anything. Philip called you a jerk. You can, jerk. Can I go instead? I mean, I mean. I'll drive down to Vegas this weekend. Sure, yeah. It's I can set, I can tell them that you guys are coming if you want to go. You don't drive down to Vegas, you drive up. That could be a thing. Oh, let me think about it tonight. I'm not <laughs> I was like, wait, don't commit to nothing you don't really the, want to I, do. I need to think about it. Because <laughs> this would involve me paying for a, a room this weekend. Yeah, you got to get a Vegas. hotel. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was going to say, we can just paint here, and it's free. Yeah, let's do it. We should we just paint, paint here. Food let's of paint our here. own choice. and We'll or go again. We uh, could even potluck. Gary at Verco's has been in contact with me, so we'll we'll have lots of opportunities on their schedule to go hang out and such. <laughs> well, and we're, we're relatively local, so. Yeah, it doesn't take us a whole lot to get to Vegas, so it's not like it's out of the question and takes a whole lot of planning. I just have been traveling too much, and I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, Jen would been, have my hide. Been out about. Jen, of course, always happy to save you. I should keep track of who they're bringing over for classes. Speaking cause... of Jen. Yeah, she just popped in. Oh, hi, Jen. Hope you're feeling a little bit better. Get well soon. Yeah, I had, to, I had to run from my office to she, get here. Did you literally run from your office? Yeah. I heard her clomping down the hall. Yeah, because so I was funny. watching the stream because she asked me to be on call just in case her headache got worse and then then she messaged she me. told you that and then as she sat down in the chair and was like gotta go yeah that was literally how it went yeah but it was like right it was the intro song was playing so i was like i gotta get there <laughs> gotta run yeah all right these gold's <laughs> starting to shape up i'm liking this Philip ratted you out, nice Jason. Shine, Why? But good contrast. Did Philip say I'm going to Vegas this weekend? No, he said 
You let him use a company card. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Phil? Phil? This is how we <laughs> this is how we lose privileges. <laughs> what did you do? This is how we lose privileges, Philip. <clears throat> you don't tell mom when dad gives you secret privileges. <laughs> Dad should also probably not mention when <laughs> Dad gives secret privileges to he other people. He already outed me. He ratted me out. <laughs> that was not according to bro code. <laughs> that was not according to the bro code. Yeah. Yeah, source. See? Source. Source knows what's up. Oh, people needed to go easy on the air freshener. Who's your... Oh, did they... Did the poop spray get out of control? Maybe. I tell you what. Whoever does that in this bathroom, and it's a girl. Uh-huh. It's a girl. There's also a guy that does it, too. Is there? Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, there's a girl that kills this bathroom area over here with the, the poop spray. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the poop spray? I'm just talking about poop smell. Oh, gross. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. I'm not going to point any fingers. I know who it is, but I'm not going to point any fingers. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it's definitely Office not me. drama chat. I know who it is. Who's got the smelliest bum? <laughs> never overdo poop spray that's not true you can overdo poop spray <laughs> there's 20 of us game delay not 12 there are there are a decent amount of us now it's amazing how in the course of the last year we've changed it's crazy because like Shelby, you and I started not too long away from each other as far as timing for start dates. Yeah. You were what, a month ahead of me? Uh I was a I was two months? Uh, I was like almost three months ahead of you. Oh really? I were you in January? Beginning of January. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, because you were here when I came to visit, I think. Yep. Mm-hmm. I was. So. We had Ike's that day for lunch. We did. I remember because it, it was the best day was, of my entire life. Could, did you say it was the best day of that your entire life? That sandwich she legitimately Ike's changed the trajectory day, so of yeah, my life. Yeah, it was like a great day for her. <laughs> Ike's has, has become what? like her favorite. Wait, wait, hold on. What did you get from Ike's? <laughs> I got... I feel like I need to try this I don't this feel now. like it matters. She's just in love with Ike's. You don't think it matters? I, you know, I miss Ike's. We don't, we don't do Ike's as often. We don't get Ike's enough. Shelby's like, we don't get Ike's enough. I need to remember the name because I remember I remember when I ordered it, I had wanted a different one, but then yeah, the Jamie Sirewitch. That's what it is. I had Jen wanted Jen knows. If I there's had, anybody that knows it's Jen. <laughs> it's because Jen said that it was her favorite or something. Well, that along might have been when I ordered actually. Because I feel like I asked Jen the same question. I was like, what should I get? And Jen was like, You should get this sandwich because it's really good. It's so good. <laughs> Philip Shelby still works here because we got Ike's that day. <laughs> yeah, she's no. like, you know, I wasn't really feeling it, but then <laughs> we had I Ike's with a bunch of nerds. But then they fed me good sandwiches. I'm just still yeah. riding that high from last March. Oh my gosh, <laughs> riding the high. <laughs> it's so good. It's like I'm pretty sure there's chicken in it, and then like a. Some sort of honey bar, like yep, honey mustard barbecue had. sauce. Yep. 100%. It's so good. And then you can put like lettuce and tomato and whatever. But obviously, guess what, Shelby guess what cares Shelby's less getting about on the them. way home. Thanks. <laughs> I have the rest of my delicious sandwich to have for dinner tonight. <laughs> it is. It's all about the sauce. The sauce is so good. I went to a really delightful sandwich place for lunch today. Oh, did you? Yeah. Went to, uh, what was it? Uh, shoot. What's the, what's the name of that place? It, it has, there's a, there's a restaurant down towards, uh, it's like on Central, down towards downtown. Ooh. And it's a pizza place. Pizzeria Bianco? Pizzeria Bianco. So they have a, a sandwich restaurant up here north of Indian School. Okay. Like maybe, I don't know, a quarter mile. Okay. And it's called Pane Bianco. Okay. And it's amazing. Okay. They're only open for like three hours during the day. Three lunch. or four hours. Yeah, it's, wow. there's literally only a lunch restaurant. Oh, yeah, that's where lunch. you and Kyle went yeah. on a date. Yeah, I went back today. Yeah. Yeah. And I tried, they have a, they have like a focaccia pizza, which is really good. It's a little like personal thing. Big fan of focaccia. Uh, and then I had uh, half of a, um, what's it called? Uh, prosciutto 
mm. sandwich. Which was delightful. I love prosciutto. Prosciutto and brie? No, it's uh, prosciutto, mozzarella, oh, and that would basil. Be, that <laughs> would be fantastic, though. Yeah, on like this really, really wonderful piece of bread. Just one piece of bread? I, I mean, it's, it's, it's Game delay, I actually it's don't have any friends that crochet, sandwich. and it's a bit sad. I've never been to the pizza place, but I've been to the sandwich restaurant a couple times. It was good. I feel like Jen will tell us that I've been to Pizzeria Bianco, but I don't remember. You probably have. I'm really bad. I know Jen. Stuff. Like, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jen! <laughs> you can't just switch it up like that. Uh, I you know it's funny. I thought about it. I was like, I got in the car and I was like driving there and I was like, should I call back Jen and, and Shelby and see if they actually want this instead? Because I was driving over there. I might have said yes. And I, I switched my mind like three times on what I wanted. I was Jack, like, this is how Jordan acts. This is the Jordan. I asked. You had one job. Okay, so you've done this before where you've asked us and we've said, what are you doing? And you said, well, I'm going to Chipotle. And I said, no, thanks. And then like, you're like, oh, you come you're back and you've got place. something completely different. <laughs> and I'm like, well, now that is completely does, not fair. It That's does not completely how it change my answer. Okay. All right. So what here you... we go, Chad. No, 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 no. Here we go. No, no, no. No, no, Kyle, no, no hold Kyle on, hold on. Just here we go. So, so, so. Oh, look, even Kyle has come. Hey, Kyle. From the nether <laughs> yeah. comes in here and says, Oh look, Jordan ditching people. He heard Shocker. His ears <laughs> okay. So <laughs> he didn't ditch us, he this asked is, us. And then he flipped the script once he was like, Okay, this good, nobody's question, going, then. so I'm gonna get good food now. I'm I'm going to assume based on the conversation that we're having that those of you in this room and those of you not in this room would, if I change my mind on where I'm going for lunch, would like me to update them with the changes <laughs> so me. they can change their mind if they like. Me, I would. <laughs> okay. We have one. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume Jason's a yes. You can assume Jen is a yes. I'm too. gonna also assume Jen is a yes, and uh, Kyle also probably. Cause you say Chipotle, and I'm like, no. I don't. I but don't if do you Chipotle. say I'm gonna go get sandwiches that are really good and awesome, <laughs> I am absolutely there. <laughs> we need a spot in our Google chat for, <laughs> for lunch, lunch plans. plans. We could. That would be fun. Get a lay of the land. Game delays a yes. All right, game delay. Please inform I'll, him. I'll hit you up. I'll shoot you a message on <laughs> on uh, on Discord when I change my mind. <laughs> Just say, hey, I changed my mind. I'm going here. Don't even tell him what the first option was. I okay for for future reference. On Friday, <laughs> I'm going back to this place. Okay. Because they have a rotating sandwich menu. Good to know. And there's something that I really want to try on Friday. Why is it? It's rotating, like, every week it's different? So every day of the week it's different. Oh, my gosh. So they have a rotating lunch sandwich. It would be tough to work there. Yeah, I can't support those kinds of places. <laughs> it's a little fancy. I can't um, support those kinds of places. I don't run on that kind of schedule where Tuesday yeah. is is the day I always want a BLT. <gasps> well, you can always get a BLT. There. Jason, you have been to the Pizzeria Bianco, and it's next to the AZ Science Center. Oh, that place is good. I love, <laughs> I love the Arizona Science Center. I want to go again. <laughs> yeah, the place is good. The little place, the little brick oven place. <clears throat> How do you eat a rotating sandwich? It spins, and you have to time it carefully. Get your bite. Oh, and Kyle, just to confirm, the other pizza option that we were talking about when we were there is actually really good. It was better than the New York style pizza that they have. For a hundred percent certainty. I haven't been to the science center since I was in elementary school. That place is awesome. Maybe it wouldn't be as awesome now, but I want to go. This is about to happen. Oh, Ooh. pretty. Jason, I used glaze and wash medium the first time. I'm about to use the heck out of some yeah, glaze and wash I used it medium. Yeah, for the first time. You watch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I didn't count my drops. Cause I'm only doing it because chat's watching. Because I'm crazy. And then technically we call that seven and a half. Maybe that's eight. Okay, good to know, Jen. Sounds like I need to have a me day and go to the Science Center. You should. Science Center was lots of fun. Awesome. Jen has a picture of me holding like an old Motorola phone. and It had all the, the technology from the 80s. Yeah. Kind of thing going on. I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do one to four. Nose. 
and we'll see how that goes. So two drops of blue, eight drops of black. We'll see how, see how that turns out. Right. Well, Jen, I apologize for letting you down on the lunch thing yet again. <laughs> I just went to the aquarium in Scottsdale. It's pretty good. I've never been to the aquarium. The Scottsdale. aquarium was Is that the one that's off the 101 to the right with the, like, the dolphin thing? Mm -hmm. Which makes me sad. What? That they have like dolphins there Why? in tanks. Well, it is the desert. Have you talked to the dolphins? Yes. And have they told you they hate it there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. That's a lie. <laughs> I don't appreciate you lying to me or the dolphin. <laughs> no, the aquarium's cool. It is just like... And that was a lot. It's a lot smaller than I thought I kind of stopped counting after a lot. And then this is a little bit of water. A bit of water. My favorite animals at the aquarium were the jellyfish. And then you take the butt end of your favorite prosynthetic brush. But and end, this. Huh? Ghost agent, thank you for the follow. Whatever, Jordan. I feel so bad now. Oh, man. Did, did Jen just whatever you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, no. Yikes. That's can't, horrible. Can't recover from that. Oh, man. That's horrible. I feel bad. Yeah, all the dolphins that's are gone. Horrible. Have you had your annual review yet? Thank goodness I have. I, too, am a butt-end mixer. Daniel, you got to, man. You got to. I, I remember. A box. What's that? I don't have anything in it. What? Ooh, pretty box. It's a pretty box. Oh, my Give goodness. It Give it to me. Is it, Give it to me. Does it look good? Yeah, what about the plastics? Other than, like, other than, like, uh, it's just got three. That's fine. Just get the tip Can you put the plastic in there? Yeah. Hold on. Ghost agent. Um... Jason it's is real! Working, Jason is working Let's on go. Usheron. Can't tell you which um, Age of Sigmar. Jason, this turned thing out to be from, a pretty good day for you. That's Usheron. Um, yeah, and ooh, can I, I remember met. this one? Jordan's you, working on. You got a on Valdor on the way. Valdor. I well, there it is. He said that was kind of unexpected. And now I'm in trouble because a certain person ratted us out. <laughs> Phil. I paid, I paid 1500 for same-day delivery <laughs> from the UK. <gasps> I was like, wait a minute. That's the first thought I had is, did Valdor already show? How is that even possible? Guys, That's you know so what funny. I bought? He's like, you didn't tell me how much to put on the Jordan, card. Jordan knows what <laughs> I bought. You said I could use the card. What did you buy, Shelby? I bought the gnomes. Oh, the yeah. gnomes from GW for I think Blood one Bowl. to eight would have been better because that's more of the blue I'm looking for. I'm very excited. Yeah, that's good. Do, did you hear about what, what That's Shelby's like squid bought? ink blue. No, he's in his own little world. Huh? I I'm, bought I'm the, talking to his left ear. He can't hear me. I bought the gnomes that GW just came out for Blood Bowl. Oh, you said they were cute and you liked them. So They're, so cute. So They're so cute. They're so cute. All right, Shelby. chat, here we go. Here we go. We just dip it in. We just dip it in, chat, and then we go... That's a really awesome AC response to what just you just raided said. The channel. I AC said, miniatures. I said, I said we just dip it in, and then two kinds of wet in our pants. I don't even know what to <laughs> yeah. say. Oh I have gosh. been doing this for. I think we changed that sound effect in like six or seven years ago, and nobody has ever admitted to what the second kind of wet is. So, <laughs> can you scroll up really quick to see what the 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 punishment from? Yeah. Hello, AC. Mr. Aaron, A. A. Ron. Oh, yes. Okay. Fair. What's, What's up, that? Aaron? What's that? What happened? Good, good to see you. Good morning to you. What happened? Good morning. What? What were you scrolling up for? You get in trouble? Yeah, Kyle. Kyle has determined my punishment. Uh oh. What is it? Watching two sick kids all day do silly <laughs> things. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Aaron. Aaron yeah. Aaron and I are confused. I what? always say good morning. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You say good morning when I walked into the stream. <laughs> you laughed so hard, though. That's a nice feeling, uh, Fox. Ooh. Ghost Hunter, I am a silly oh, goose please. sometimes. Oh, please. Gabe's got, Gabe's got something really cool. Hey, chat, you want to see something cool? I don't know if you deserve it. Say yes. Does chat deserve to see something cool, Shelby? Oh, no. I, they've been relatively good today, actually. Does rel is relatively good good enough? I, I think so. I okay. think that's the best you're going to get. 
That's probably true. <laughs> uh, if we're gonna Ooh, be honest, is that's, it more paint that's I can't order likely yet? Likely accurate. Is it more paint that I can't order yet? <laughs> well, it is more of something that you can't order yet. I'm only in less negativity from you, Chad. <laughs> I can't ever decide what the right answer is. You or Chad? We can be worse if you want. <laughs> I right. think I think they deserve Very to cool know. Stuff. Jen wants to know. She thinks huh? she knows what it is, but... Jen, hey, Jen, you're going to be pretty psyched. Well, I don't know. Jen, Jen, I think Jen will be pretty psyched about this. I think she'll be excited. Um, we want to make sure that there's no wet paint anywhere. There's no wet paint here. Great. I don't get wet paint on anything except my hands. So here, put it in my hands. What's in the box? Oh, it's a nice... Well, that just has a good heft uh -huh. to it as well. <laughs> Do you have the fake cards in here, I too? I have the fake cards in there. I, I have the board wow. in there. It feels real. It feels real. So this is a very real moment for us, chat. Even though this is a sample, this is a very real moment for us. Right? Eee! Look at that. Beautiful. Look at it that. It exists. It's so pretty. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that, chat. So this turned to an unboxing stream. <laughs> look at this. Are we playing tonight? Not that no, kind. it doesn't have everything. Look at that. Not yet. <clears throat> Look at that. Awkwardish pretty box is pretty. <laughs> the first ever Hobby Nerd Studio presentation here. Yeah, it's just this is just the box sample. We're in production right now, but they're sending us as stuff comes off tool, they're sending us all of the the actual pieces, right? Mm -hmm. So I can take that. Yeah, take that. About to place on your wet palette. But you can take <laughs> that. Right here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, we've already shown off the the uh, rule book. So it's got it's all, the, all the Take goods. my money, you punks. All the <laughs> Thank goods. you, T. Schmidt. I don't know if we spent a lot of time showing you pictures of the buy. characters and stuff. But there's all sorts of good stuff, all sorts of good lore and stuff building. Neat stuffs. Got some good neat crud. Game delay. I do love seeing stuff I can't buy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> some neat stuffs. So cool. Yeah. Yeah, I guess this is something that this is a little suck. disgruntling. But this will be available in May, guys. Ooh. This is right around the corner. May. Age Hopefully. of Angra coming true. Yeah, so we've got, I mean, the, the board it doesn't have graphics on it, no. so we can't really show you the board, but the game board, board is, is a huge uh, trifold game board. Look at us. It's almost like we know what we're doing. Yeah. Just awesome. uh, play, our placeholder uh, paper test cards in there, and then a spot for all of the, the tokens. It also has a token sheet that comes with it pop out tokens and stuff so i am thrilled gabe oh i'm stoked great stuff gabe's got to feel really good this is this is i want everybody to put hearts in chat for our man gabe hey, because gabe. this is gabe's first front to back product development process mm -hmm. and he has been the guy in charge of delivering this to the world so lots of hearts for gabe great thank you, thank you. It's gotta feel excited. good right mm -hmm. yes yes lots of time lots of time oh. spent back and forth Awesome stuff. Thank you, everyone. I'm very excited. Awesome stuff. Cool. Sweet. I just want to share with everyone. Super cool. Bye, Gabe. Super cool. Bye. <clears throat> Another thing my game store will buy and then be out of stock of in a day. <laughs> I mean, it's not that we do it on purpose, but we kind of do it on purpose. <laughs> we make good stuff. Uh, Noden says, okay, so I just finished doing my first base coat on my Dead Zone minis after using Procryl. I have officially found my brand. Fan freaking, I, man. Yeah, that's amazing. We love that's that. That's a good one. That's awesome. Y'all made an amazing product that not only works amazingly, but it's also the friendly to people like myself that are mildly colorblind and use real color names. Yep, and that was one of our thoughts originally. Glad that that's helping. So thank y'all so much for making something that I'm going to be using for my hobby. Awesome. Fist pump. We thank you. Noden, thanks for giving us a shot and welcome. Glad to have you as part of the family here. Good stuff. Look at all those hearts. Oh, so much love for Gabe. People showing the love to Gabe. Kyle gave emo Gabe has knocked it out of the park. Gabe is not a product development guy. He has really stepped up to the plate on this one, really made it part of something he, he wants to learn and has done a fantastic job getting Age of Anger to market. So it's not here yet, but coming soon. Telemachus is adding that to the baby registry. I like it. Baby due in May. Uh-oh. Fantastic tell. That, I think that's a good baby registry gift. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's great. That's the kind of thing I was always hoping I'd buy people when they had their kids. Here's something to take your mind off the fact that you're a parent now. <laughs> <laughs> Will the open game fit back into the box in a way that is helpful to play? Yeah. 
Yeah, all the cards the fit back in the point. plastic tray, everything the way it's built. The tokens, once you popped them out, it had those two blank trays for putting all the tokens in after you popped them out of the board. So all you have to do is carry the box. Fido, thanks for showing us the game. Now, team. if the game is received well and we start doing expansions, I, I can't guarantee that we, we haven't left room to expand more card sets into the box. You could probably get some in there, but it's a pretty tight fit for everything. So. I have some ideas on that. Small pieces, yeah. Choke hazards, cards <laughs> for chewing, definitely. Aaron, thank you so much, man. Hope you had a great show. See you, Aaron. Thank you for the rain. Have a good night. Make sure that you click that right there next to each other. AC Miniatures and Soulway Studios. Click on both those people's names. Give them a follow. It's free and help support your friendly local painter who is uh, developing so much awesome content for us on a daily basis. Both those guys do great work. Meticulous Chaos. Would Baby J use the same workup if Army Painting Custodes, or would you use a faster method? I think the colors could be faster. the same. I'm gonna let he'll speak to it, but a lot of times the way that Jordan paints, colors might stay the same. Process gets more detailed on your character models. Yep, 100%. which is a great way to look at it, right? You keep your. Uh, a lot of times, I will paint a, a model like Valdor or Robute Gilliman if I'm going to do Ultramarines, and I'll spend all the time on the character model figuring out the colors and then i'll make sure i cut technique out to do yeah. the rest of the army right so like this model if i were to do this for an army i would use the same colors but i would just be doing a lot of dry brushing so right. i would like yeah. make start from the darker base build up dry brushes of the various different golds and then i'd wash it down hit it with another dry brush and then pick out all the details because it would take a gajillion years less time and would be much better suited for doing large scale or large volumes of models. But the 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 difference is you don't get the nuance in the in the shine for the armor. Um, you get a really nice brilliance to the gold when you paint it this way. Um, that you won't get when you do it the other way around. So. Yeah, and awkward is exactly yeah like three D printed storage solutions and stuff like that exist for games that take off. We just don't you know we're very um, how to put it. Uh, very reserved and cautious when we release products like this because they're not what people know us for. We're not a game development studio. Um, it is not a miniatures game. It is a card game that is just a fun game. We want to, with Hobby Nerd Studios, just be able to do the other part of what we love in the hobby, which is make cool, fun, playable things. Um, we are making miniatures for it, but they're not a component of the game per se. You can use them in the game, but they are for painting because that's who we are. Uh, but the, the lore and the characters are fantastic. The game itself is fantastic. Um, and so we just want to do fun things. And so that's really what this is. Um, but we're, we're fairly cautious. We're, we're cautiously optimistic. We think people are going to love it. Whether or not they love it enough for us to invest in the expansions and stuff, we just weren't ready to pull that trigger. We have the expansions already being made. Not physically produced, but being made in, in, uh, in the uh, content it. space. Yeah. So we already have uh, a full-fledged another uh, grouping of characters fighters, so to speak, to play with, uh, and other events and things that can occur, like scenarios to play in. So all of that as expansions would be available within the first like six months of release of the game if we see a big hey, uptick. But we're not, we don't plan that way. We have it, we invest in it, and then if people dig it, we'll make it, kind of a thing. It's Nolster, thank you for the follow. It's Nolster, what's going on? Can we get a recap of the gold workup? He sure can. Yeah, yeah, in fact, I was just about to talk about the next thing that I'm doing. Uh, the gold workup started yesterday by basically airbrushing on a, uh, it was, what did I use? It was burnt sienna and rich gold over the whole model. And then I gave it a nice dose of flush wash. Uh, and then I went back over it today and I reapplied the gold and then manually applied some, um, of the burnt sienna and gold, rich gold in the recesses. And now I'm going through with pure transparent brown right out of the bottle, um, just thinning it down a little bit for um, fluidity. And I'm applying this into the recesses. You can kind of see it up underneath this, this shin right here where I've applied it. And I'm gonna do a couple of layers of that to really build in the shadows. <clears throat> Uh, and then from there, I'm going to re-highlight back up with some, some brighter golds um, to really get a nice level of contrast on the gold. 
Meanwhile, I'm over here turning all of our stuff into speed paints. <laughs> Works good. Super easy to turn everything into Dude, speed paints. Glaze wash medium is the king. It is. Every time anybody asks me, are you making speed paints? I'm like, so we make this thing called glaze wash medium that will rock your world. You just saw me mix it up. It is fantastic. It has turned transparent black and transparent blue into a better version of speed paints. Game delay, you still Because it doesn't get blotchy. It doesn't do all times. that silly nonsense that everybody's speed paints do. Spitfire said, when painting layers, what's the best way to make sure your layers aren't completely covering your bottom layer? Layering is still the hardest thing for me. I call it the rule of 50%, right? And what I mean by that, I'll show you real quick, okay? So when I paint, you'll base. So here's the whole model's base, okay? And then for your next color, you start with an idea that you're gonna come in at somewhere between like, you know, 75 and 50%. Because I call it the rule of 50%, let's do that. So your next layer is only gonna cover this part of the model, right? Subsequent layers all split the difference and cover 50% of the previous color, right? This is where you start. And then eventually you get to where you've backed yourself into a corner and your last thing, the only space you have is a little highlight spot like that. Right, And so the rule of 50% creates your layering so that you can see all your colors. Just think in terms of every little spot on the model that you're painting, leave half of it visible. And if you paint like we do, if you paint from shadow to highlight, then you're going to leave half in the shadows and then start out of the shadows like that. Now, you might find as you get better at this that you really are doing this. Right, You're doing something more akin to like 75% using more colors. Right and mixing more colors and gradients in between. But the rule of 50 is, is generally good. Just, you know, cut each one of these in half. And that way in like four, five colors tops, and that includes your highest highlight, you've got a really, really good layering system built. Does that make sense? Meticulous Chaos said, how would transparent yellow and glaze and wash medium compare to Imperial Fist contrast? You'd probably want to put something else in there, maybe a little bit of orange in there to warm it up. I'm not I'm not familiar with the GW colors, so Yeah, I don't know exactly. But you can mix anything you want with the transparents, right? There's white, black, all the colors, so you can get there. Yeah, you can definitely make that color. It's just I can't tell you off. Well, and remember, you don't have to use transparents. You can use like warm yellow. You can use whatever colors you really want. So if you've got a color that you want your Imperial Fist to look like, I, I think warm yellow is better, Yeah. right? But if I you took agree. warm yellow and did uh, the glaze wash medium, because you don't have to just use the transparent paints. The transparent paints uh, work great, but regular paint would work just as well here. So I just have done the, the transparent black blue mix enough for doing hair that it's one of my favorite ways to get that kind of... Uh, Jet black feel. Raven black might be the better way to say it. Source asked, what would you do different if using a regular acrylic rather than the transparents for this result? Uh, nothing. I would add more glaze wash medium. Right? Dilution needs to go up as you're not using a transparent paint, but, you know, play around with it. You don't, it's not that different. If I was doing 10 to 1 here, I might go up to 12 or 15 to 1 and, and test it. Always test first on a small area and see what you like. But I'm of the mindset that I like to start overly diluted and then layer more layers if I have to. This one I nailed. This is perfect for what I was going for. Oh, God. Transparent brown is so good. Yeah, transparent brown is fantastic. Oh, it's amazing. It gives such a nice, dirty warmth to everything. Well, it just shades our metallics so beautifully. <laughs> but you see, I, I can paint with it. I can put it exactly where I want to. You know, I treat it like a normal paint, but it acts like 
you know that that speed paint mentality that you want it flows really nicely as i stick it down into crevices gives you that nice uh level of opacity so that this you know very quick if you want to call it slap chop job that i've done on the fur here shows through exactly the way i want it to and that was just two colors right that was just going in with a, a dark shade layer and then a high contrast dry brush and done and now the black blue over the top of that i get a little bit of that brownish color in here that i want notice how i'm being able to stay away from the hide portion and just get the fur the way i want to because i'm going to go back over the hide with a more fleshy color and that i'll use an opaque color for i don't know if we'll have time to get to that today but on tomorrow's stream i'll be using an opaque color to do this exact same process for all of this section here and this is not a i mean i'm not treating this like some sort of fast paint model i'm using these techniques on a model that you know we're spending more time on there's no reason you can't i'm not having to do anything different than you would if you're army painting you know dry brush get your values set throw some paint at it and then put a wash i am being i'm not just slopping the wash on so that's the only thing i'm doing is a little bit more delicate placement of color a lot of this, the, though. a lot of the time when you are stepping up something from like a an entry level or a mid-tier paint job to something where you're really spending a lot of time that's really the biggest difference is how <clears throat> how you apply the colors delicacy almost yeah, right your it's colors just... are largely in a lot of cases going to be the same yeah you might add a couple of little random things here or there but re realistically your your application is the big thing that changes uh, how you apply paint, where you apply it, how much of it you apply, um, how much delicacy you use to apply that paint is really what we're looking at. I mean, it really comes down to attention to detail. Once you get comfortable painting in general, you'll find that your techniques can just be spread further apart or closer together depending on the level of detail you want. Right? Cut some corners, so to speak. You know, Vince calls it hobby cheating. And hobby cheating doesn't mean you have to have your models look like you, you know, painted them in 15 minutes in a windstorm. You know, it can still be award-winning quality. It's just knowing when to apply the right cheat to achieve the quality you're looking for. Right now I'm applying a cheat, which is to use a wash to give me a lot of color and depth, but not have to spend time painting a million freaking hairs. Yeah. Which sounds so much easier than a painting that manually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I'll still have to go back and highlight the hair at the end, but it'll save me the, to the point where I only have to do it at the very highest peaks as opposed to everything. Yep. It's like when you did Heine. Yeah, exactly. Heine was a great example of that because we painted him super quick, mm -hmm. right? And still had a really good looking model. And painted mostly with glazes and heavy washes and heavy glazes. I didn't have to spend much time highlighting. The most time I spent on Heine was the gold, the dookie gold chain. Right? Hmm? Studio J7, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Oh, hi. Studio, what is going on? You never what get a chance to raid in. That's awesome. On. Yeah, we usually raid into you. You got a short stream today? Welcome, everybody, coming over from Studio. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. We certainly are. Mm-hmm. I think today's turning out to be quite a nice day. Painting some sweet models. A little sneak peek preview. Yeah, yeah. A little sneak peek preview. It might have been a bigger than... It's little. a pretty big one, actually. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah that's, that's not a little one. <laughs> Finished a bit late. Oh, really? I'm used to you running way later than we go yeah unless it's five but i also don't know what the heck time it is yeah i was about to say unless it's five o'clock here oh and also daylight savings mm. oh that's true yeah, so yeah, yeah a whole 10 minutes <laughs> so not super late i always fit that i always forget that daylight savings exists because well in some areas don't... don't change at the same time i think everybody's changed now what? but i'm not i could be wrong 20 to midnight there. 
Wowza. Wowza. Yeah, eight ahead of us, I think, right? Mm -hmm. mm, I am happy with how this gold is coming along. It looks Good. great. It's been a while since I've done, like, really nice true metallic gold. Yeah, we get really wrapped up in our non-metallic. Yeah, it's a nice little break, you know? Every once in a while, it's nice to go back and then kind of flex those muscles every once in a while. So it's a good way to keep yourself, you know, fresh. That's a good color on there, too. Some locations only do daylight savings based on economics. Interesting. I've never cared about daylight savings because well, it's you've never, been in Arizona your whole life. never affected me. <laughs> Jen's the same way. I'm like, I, it was so hard when I first moved here. I'm like, what the heck am I supposed to do? Uh, yeah, you're telling me. You just forget we, about we it. Because we streamed, right? And for years and years, we would change the stream time mm -hmm. here locally to maintain, always be on Pacific time to make it easier for people to understand. And we just couldn't do that anymore when we hired Jordan. We yeah. had to be like, well, Jordan needs to know how lady works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As opposed to, hey, at this time of the year, you work till four. And at this time of the year, you work till five. Yeah. Yep. So get used to it. Welcome to the game. <laughs> it's definitely, it's it's nice to have it be like every day is the same. It's oh, kind of yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it helps us a lot here just because <laughs> we know what time the stream starts. Correct. Yeah, I remember when he first started and there were, we had like a few days where we started later to like stay at the same time for Pacific. oh because it was right before mm -hmm. the change yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that's right that was when he was bright eyed and bushy tailed and have I changed aiming to please <laughs> now I, he's all have I changed much now he's all burnt out now he's jaded jaded <laughs> Bye, Wad. Thanks for hanging out. Wad, take it easy, man. Good old Wad tomato in. Tom. <laughs> Tom. I love how I have totally, completely absconded with that man's name and oh, yeah. changed it. Oh, yeah. Very early yeah. on. That was like day one or two for you. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> Wad tomato in? <laughs> I'm just going to call you Wad. What One of the funniest one? things and best things in my stream career of eight years <laughs> the, the what tomato has been thing? watching you get used to people's names on stream. <laughs> <laughs> like legit, watching Jordan figure out people's names on stream is hilarious. It's hard. It's not an easy skill. It's so good. Sometimes I have to look at a name happen. and then if, I, if I'm like choosing between two options, I just have to... It's 50-50. <laughs> I'm either going to sound like an idiot or sound like I know what I'm talking about. So I'm curious as to the next color. Which time are we at? 345? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh... Yep. Yep. Big decisions. That was big decisions, Sai. Bye, see you. Thank you for the raid. Have a good night. Thank you. See you. Take it easy, man. Tell the missus hello. Don't forget to get some rest. <laughs> you accidentally learned Awkwardish Panda's secret real name, then immediately forgot it? <laughs> I know many secret You learned names. that Wadtomatom's name is really Steve? <laughs> and now you're bummed? But it's not Tom. I'm sadder as a result. Or Wad. I mean, Wad's name, name is, is definitely Wadson. Wad. Uh, you Wads. can't tell me that Wad's name Tom is Tom Wad. Wadson. That's his new name. Tom oh, Wadson. that's so true, Awkwardish. My fave is finding out I've been saying someone in chat's name wrong for years. <laughs> <laughs> Does it count if you've been doing it on purpose? Hmm. No. When I used to stream with your brother, raiding people was so much fun because his streaming name was Mananan. Mananan. I'm. What am I missing? Mananan. Mananan. 
Mananana. Makes me think of banana. Bananas? <laughs> banana. -na -na -na. And then I think of Jason eating a banana. It's weird. <laughs> My banana stare. <laughs> the proper way to eat bananas is always make eye contact. <laughs> I've read this someplace. We should have brought bananas to Adepticon. We did. did I blame he, you. Did he eat any? Him? Uh, uh, at the booth? Yeah, I think you grabbed one. At the booth, Me? I mean. Yeah. A banana? Yeah. Just, when? Just behind us. Adepticon. A banana. <clears throat> Next time, it's fine. I feel like. Good old Wad Steve. <laughs> it's, it's Steve <laughs> Wadson. <laughs> Good old Steve Wadson. Gotta stress the, that it's not Watson. Yeah, Watson. He gets he gets really bummed out when people think he's Sherlock's best friend. All right, here we go. Our deep deep shadow on this, mixing brown transparent, black transparent. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Brown and black transparent. Look at me. <gasps> doing the same. Heavy thing. on the black. Wow. You guys are using the same colors. So cute. Twinsies. Twinsies. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Wow. That is very good. I like that a lot. Cool, because this is the the part where you can start kind of defining a little bit of these this detail by uh, just using it to kind of shape all, like, these little bits of fur on the, on the lion here on his kneecap. Wow, look at that flow. This goes right into the creases. Yeah, someone was earlier asking about doing uh, panel lining mm. and, and pen washes. And this is why we said this is all you need. Glaze wash medium and some water and whatever color you want. And you're done. Because it, it does just literally do the, uh, the simple uh, tap and watch the color flow. Very satisfying. Oh yeah, it's, it's tons of fun to paint this way. It's something that a lot of people think is reserved for, you know, fast, loose army painting because of the way the, the speed paint mentality is kind of taken over in that realm. But it, there's nothing that keeps you from doing this on display models, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Again, just know when to use the technique in question. And you can get all sorts of really cool stuff happening. How can you tell which furs are different? I can't. Okay. I'm just guessing. Yeah, right on. They, they have some differentiation like this. You can see where the skin part is. Mm -hmm. So that's a flap. So I treated that as part of this one. Right. And then this one comes down and you can see the skin flaps and of course there's a head there and a head there. Mm -hmm. So that's second. And then I'm gonna treat this one and the one it's over the top of as the same. Oh, okay. Just an arbitrary guess. If you talk to the sculptor, yeah. maybe he'd be like, idiot. <laughs> this <laughs> totally was idiot. on the other side. <laughs> I don't know. Just don't talk to the sculptor. Oh God. I heard I heard Phil's voice when you said that. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> idiot. What do you know about Ushran? Well, this is Phil's model, so if he's bummed, that's a shame. Not Phil's like, that's problem. definitely not the way that's supposed to be painted, dude. <laughs> Baby J, you won't have to paint the rest if you use a black painted cotton balls to make the guy coming out of trailing black smoke. Nah, it's okay. I'll paint the rest of it. <laughs> it deserves to be painted. <laughs> it's a really good model. What's that? This model. Philip. <laughs> One thing we should note as we're talking about this style of painting, because there have been some questions in chat, is that you always want to go darker than the color you hope to see on the model. Um, that's something that a lot of people get mistaken, even in the world of speed paints and contrast is that you'll go for a bright color thinking that's what you're going to get on the model. And when you put it on the model, you get way brighter. 
Because remember, you've got this light color that you've built up through, you know, zenithal priming, uh, dry brushing like I've done here, whatever you've done, and that brighter color is going to show through and brighten up whatever color you put on top. So making sure that you pick a darker color, right? This is what we're painting with right now. That's not the color I wanted. I wanted the color we're getting, which is that blend of the bright dry brushed color and the darker color I'm putting on. Had I chosen just brown transparent here, it would have been way too bright. So just be aware, that holds true for any filtering you do. Pick something darker than what you want un until and up to the point of doing like dot filters on tanks where you're using white for oxidation and things like that. But it uh, is only those side cases that it changes. You're always looking for a darker color because when you thin the color down, it inherits a lot of the value and color underneath it. So always be aware if you're putting it over a brighter color, make the color darker. If you're in, by the same token, if you're putting it, like if I were putting this over a much darker color, I might want a brighter color to do that. Yes, all the models are primed in our black primer. Yep. All right. We prefer black primer because it puts the shadow firmly on the model first. Right. And uh, takes away a lot of the work. Can you use white primer? Most definitely. You do you. Yeah. Just... Uh, but white primer causes you to have to work harder to get your shadows on the model. And forces you into kind of tighter corners painting because you've got to go paint like, you know, the underarm and all the areas we hate painting because you get paint everywhere. And you start saying, well, nobody looks at this anyway. Just prime it black. Because no one will see it then the underarms are already shadowed. <laughs> and you can put a light glaze of purple or blue or something under there if you want to change the shadow color, and it just happens instantaneously with a little mixing. It's a good lazy start to modeling. Using a little bit of bright gold now. <clears throat> Trying to push these areas of brighter gold. Gameplay said, white primer, paint each hair on a fur cloak. Got it. Yep, there you go. <laughs> Good thing you listen. Good listener. Aim delay our good listener. It looks so matte, not sure if that's just a video. Yeah, it is ultra matte. What is? Primer. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Jen, we can lock up. Either between me, Philip, and whoever else. Came to said, I'm starting to think Jason didn't mean it when he called me a good listener. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what gave you that idea? <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, could it be because you're not a good listener? Bo -bo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so good. So fast. Wow. Are you excited to paint some more, Shelby? I am. I still need to... I'm still working on the skin for Night Bells. I think I want to do that. I think I just need to experiment more. Because I did that on mm, Friday. Mm -hmm. You were gone. Mm -hmm. So Jen and I painted. Um, cool. But I'm... Uh, yeah, I think I need to play around with some more colors on his skin because I wanted to do some underpainting. But when do you want to start? Shelby's suffering from the hanging out with us problem. It's true. Yeah. She's you're starting your painting journey with all the most advanced techniques. Yeah. yeah. Which is fun. Like I. It can be. Jen did the same thing. If I'm doing something, I want to do it like 100. percent Yeah. I'm not gonna. You like me? I don't like right. the half-ass stuff. Yeah. You know, and I want to find out through the tough end of the spectrum what a thing actually feels like. Yeah. Because I don't want to spend a lot of time working on the basics and then find out that, oh, I can't go any further than that. Yeah. You know, because I'm just not built that way. Yeah. So I want to dig right in, jump in with both feet, that whole thing. So I get it. You're in the right place. We will definitely ruin your 
thoughts of painting normally. Yes. It is 3.56. Okay, I gotta go. Mm -hmm. You gotta go? Yeah, I got a 5 o'clock uh, meeting. Oh, okay. Out in Scottsdale, so I have a long drive. Oh, geez, you're driving out. Scottsdale. So I gotta close up shop. All right. Well, I'll start throwing up some of these links. Okie dokie. I am really happy with that, though. That happened very quickly. Yeah, that looks great. Uh, Jade, I do not know when I will be painting, but Jordan and I have some exciting ideas in the works. Yeah, we got we got some plans. We got some plans in the works. You guys will hear more about it as we get things a little bit more finalized. Um, but yeah, no, I'm really excited. Shelby and I have a a neat model. Get the aquarium while you're out there. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> My meeting is three hours. I'm in a meeting for five to eight. Really? Oh boy. Wow. <laughs> It's a presentation, so oh, okay. um, it, it shouldn't be that bad. But thank you, guys. I'm out. I'm going to let Jordan close it up for All you. Right. Thanks Sounds so much. We'll see you back here tomorrow. I'll be doing uh, some opaque colors with the glaze wash medium in the water to get the skin hide portion of this done. I'll switch from transparency over to some opaques, use some flesh tones uh, to make all that start out, and then uh, we'll keep painting. I'm sure Jordan will be wowing us with more of his true metallic metal skills. Yep, so thank you, on. everybody. Have a wonderful evening. I will see you manana. Bye, Jason. Bye, Bye Jason. Have a good time. Safe drive. Yeah. Good travels. Will you uh, text Jen when it's all locked up and you're out so she can lock up? Yeah. Thank you. All right, everyone. It's closing, closing time. Closing time. She got it. I almost said it. I almost sang it, but I didn't. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. I know who <laughs> I want to take me home. <laughs> <laughs> all right everyone on that note we're out of here yeah <laughs> shelby was so kind of to put up a whole bunch of links for us <laughs> we're gonna find out who to raid yeah who, shelby's who gonna find leader. somebody to raid while she does that i'm gonna take you guys out here with all of our good good links uh first things first we got our monument.com link where you can find all the fantastic paints that we've been using here today uh, pro acryl to uh, paint up all these fantastic models. Uh, we are Monument. We make all these paints here in Arizona. Uh, if you want to find them in a store local to you, you can check on our store finder link, which you, which you can use either here in the U.S. or outside of the U.S. You can find one of our many retailers around the world uh, and go into a store and buy it yourself. Uh, we love to support lo local stores like that. Uh, so feel free to go jump on a store locator, find something for you. Uh, don't forget to join our Discord. If you like what you see in here, uh, there's more painting talk and hobby talk on the Discord. Uh, we also do our monthly painting challenges on the Discord. It's a great place to hang out. Thousands of fantastic artists on there, as well as a uh, ghost hunter. Uh, specifically, 4,167. And one kind of okay listener. I don't know if he's talking about himself or game delay. Um. Oh, ooh, <laughs> shade being thrown. Sorry. Okay, very good. Uh <laughs> So check that out and join us. Uh, don't forget to check out our YouTube link as well. Uh, you can follow us on our stream there. Uh, we do go live to YouTube now as well. Uh, but we do also post up all of our shorts and all of our long form video tutorial content on there. So make sure that you guys check it out. Uh, don't forget to drop us a follow here on Twitch if you liked what you see. Uh, we are live every day during the week from Monday through Friday from two o'clock to four o'clock PM. So make sure to join us. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow. right? at two o'clock and um much love we will see y'all that time bye bye, -bye.